Hello. Look at Jasmine is here. Hi, Jassy. Hi. How you doing? Good. Good. How's school today? Good. Did you finish? Is, is it your last day of school? Yeah, I finished it already. And then, uh, what did you do at school? What else did you give? A card. A card? Gift card. What did she say? She said, oh my goodness. All right guys, welcome back. We got this Audi A4 here again. Today, we're gonna show you how to set these marks on the cams correlated to the TDC. First, we need the, the 5 8 wrench right here. And then on the other side is a 11 16 This is when you're trying to like maneuver the, the cam so that we, we could set up the that chain okay so the chain have this uh different colors right here there's one right there there's one right here so that would line up to the marks on the sprocket and then uh line up to the engine over here i'll show you hello look at jasmine is here hi jassy hi how you doing good good how's school today did you finish? Is, is it your last day of school? Yeah, I finished it already. And then, uh, what did you do at school? Um, With your teacher and classmate? Um, what did you do? We did my birthday book. And then? What, um, what did you do with your birthday book? People draws in my birthday book. And nice. My teacher print them out. Nice. Did you give the cookies? To who? The cheese. And then what, what else did you give? A card. A card. Gift card. What did she say? She said, oh my goodness. And then? And she said, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my okay. Goodness. Okay, here we go. Bye bye. I'm going to be in grade one. Where are you going to be? In grade one. You're going to grade one next year, right? Yeah. All right. All right, we're going to line up this uh, sprocket and chain the best we can. All right, so. All right, so first we're going to try to do this one right here, the intake side. Uh, it's because of lack of uh, marks on this setup. The only mark we have is on the sprocket here. And it's hard to coronate on the block. There's just no marking on the block. Um, on the diagram shows line right here, line right here. So I made my own line. Um, there's a marking right here. This is the center point uh, to the mark here on the on the sprocket to the marking of the block. Uh, range from 61 to 64 millimeter around that area. Or you can do 63. Okay. And then from marking to sprocket to sprocket is 124 up to 126 so you can go 125 in the middle you're gonna need a veneer caliper to measure it like this it's a 63 millimeter and then range up open like this is a 125 in the middle okay so let's just do this one here first 163 let's set that up um, I, I set up the 163 right here and then I put a marking on the face of the bulb cover. Put a slighter line right here. I don't have a marker but I got a I gouge a little bit of a mark right here. You need a tilt marker. So line up right there. And then line up right there. Okay, so that's my mark. I'm lining up to the sprocket. I got those uh, locking tools lined up right here. They're just loose. When I got everything all lined up here, I'm gonna slide it over to lock it. So let's go uh -huh, 63 mil, millimeter. So I'm off about three tooth right here, so I have to swing it that way. Mm. 
Not yet. <gasps> Hi guys. So it's I like that. Big bubble. Okay. I made a big bubble. Okay, Jesse, stop it. I'm gonna record. No. I'm gonna slide this in. Let's lock. All right, let's measure this. Double check. Sixty-three. Yeah, 63, right there. Yeah, 63, right there. So that's good, this is good. And now, from here, across, 125. So let's give that a try. So, I bought a tooth out. All right, so, uh, Let's swing this over. That way, get the locking tools ready. Lock, double check it. That's about right. Yeah, it's about right. This is 125 mil millimeter. So let's do the, let's put the chain. It's all locking now. It's not gonna move. Let's put the chain in and uh, let's see what kind of measurement that we'll get. All right guys, I got the chain on now and the guide's up here. The mark right there on the sprocket, the marking on the chain. Okay, same thing here, the mark on the sprocket, marking on the chain. So that's nice and uh, tight in there. So now let's move down to the crank, show you the marking on the crank. All right, guys, we're down here at the crank. This is the sprocket for the crank right here. You can tell um, there's a marking down here, the arrow and that chain uh, this chain is for your balancer chain uh, we're kind of off a little bit this should be like around right here so it needs to turn a little bit uh, this looks like we're at six o'clock this should be like at like seven o'clock or something like that or eight so this needs to be turned and the same thing with the here when that thing turned this is a marking right here on the passenger side this should be like way up here 12 or 1 o'clock or something like that okay so that's the mark that's supposed to go up and then on the other side the passenger side really tough to see uh, here's the marking right there the little dot right there that should be over here about 1 o'clock so this uh, crank needs to turn a little bit and you can tell this is my primary chain right here okay my primary chain this chain should line up to the marking right there all right so crank sprocket mark this mark right here that's for your balancer chain and then if you go move on the other side the driver's side that's my mark right here that's for my primary chain so that's supposed to be on this side. So we're gonna turn this crank a little bit. All right, guys. So this is uh, the best time to, to put the spacer on this uh, on this uh, crank bolt right right here. Now um, this is what I'm talking about. It came with the kit. You do it like that, so they won't damage this uh, this grooves. All right, so what we use to turn the crank is 15-16 uh, sockets. That's what we use. All right, so nice and snug. And uh, I got this uh, little wire right here on the cylinder number one. This is will guide me if uh, if I'm really on the TDC. 
on the piston. This is what guides me if I'm on a TDC. So if I turn this crank right here, this will go up a little bit. And uh, and when it, when it stops, while I'm spinning this, and when this thing stops moving, it's on TDC, and I'm gonna check the mark. There we go, see, look, it still go up. Still go up. Still going up. All right, so a mark on the balancer. Looks like I'm 12 o'clock. So, try again, keep going. All right, that's stopped now. It stopped moving, so I'm gonna check the chain marking and the sprocket, make sure I'm on the right track. So I was off a little bit right here. So what I'm gonna do is gonna just let this one loose. I'm gonna set up down here. I'm gonna put that marking down there and then tighten up and then I'll uh, do this one after. All right, so the bottom one is lined up to the chain and the marking. So we're gonna move. So now, we, now we're gonna adjust this one right here. Double check the bottom, make sure the the chain catch on the sprocket and now we're gonna move this one all right guys so let's uh, line up this uh, groove to the colored chain now it's on there on there uh, I have to take out these guides because it's on the way I need more slack so let's uh, install this guide back in here nice and snug all right so that's good double check the the marking so this will be a 125 so that's good that's good 125 okay and then uh, down here the crank so I'll bring you guys at the crank and right there that's a good beauty marking lined up together. That's what we want. All right. As you can see here, there's a lot of nice big gap right here compared to the old one, the old chain. So this is good. This is nice and tight. Now we're gonna take out this uh, tools here. Nice, nice and snug, and now it's time to pull the pin, guys. Time to pull the pin. There. Got all the tension now. Looks good to me. I'm happy with that. Alright, guys, so this is a good... Uh, good progress uh, this is a, a good time to do a compression test because we got everything all lined up TDC all the markings are good brand new chains and guides so on the next video guys stay tuned we'll do a compression test on this disable the uh, fuel and ignition that they just just take out their the fuse I'll show you how to do that pretty easy and then we're just gonna put a battery in and then we'll just do a crank, 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 no start. And uh, we'll do the compression test, put a gauge on each cylinder, and we'll see if this first um, option is putting a new chain, see if this will have a good compression. I believe 168 is the, mi is the minimum PSI on this. So uh, we'll find out. Uh, the best two is uh, we're gonna have to uh, clean those uh, intake bulbs probably better just to spray a brake cleans and let it sit I'm not sure better to clean it all right guys so uh, yeah make sure to subscribe uh, like my channel like the video and uh, stay tuned for the next one coming up thanks for watching